Hi guys, good morning. Yung topic natin for this uh, video is about for GCAS minor verification. So, marami kasi nagtatanong sa akin ito, kaya gumawa ako ng follow-up video regarding doon sa kung paano mag-upgrade uh, or uh, mag-KYC ng ating GCAS accounts. So, usually kasi ang minor nahihirapan kasi wala yung option ng kanilang mga ID doon sa ating Uh, primary IDs. So, kung wala kang any valid IDs from government, uh, student ka pa lang, accepted po dito sa GCAS na mag-KYC uh, ka at ito po yung mga gagawin. So, guys, kung interesado po kayo, let's go! Panoorin po natin till uh, matapos ang ating video. Thank you! Hi, this is Lederet. Welcome to my channel. To okay, let's go. Okay, so ano nang gagawin natin? Halimbawa, ikaw ay nakapag-register na dito or nakagawa ka na po ng account pero hindi ka pa-upgraded at minor ka. Ang unang gagawin natin ay pupunta tayo dito sa dito sa left side. Ayan, i-click natin tong left side na to. Then hanapin natin yung help center. Ayan, i-click natin. Okay. Then, dito sa help center na to, kailangan nating uh, mag uh, lagay ng ating uh, question. Ayan. So, itap natin to continue. Okay. Dito sa help center na to, submit ticket. Kailangan nating mag-click ang submit ticket. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin, ilalagay natin yung email address. Ilalagay yung email address, yung GCAS uh, registered full name. Ayan. And then, uh, GCAS registered mobile number. Okay. And then, concern category. So, mamimili tayo dito. So, my GCAS account. Okay. So, I need assistance to get fully verified. Okay. So, I submitted my verification request and got rejected. So, my valid ID is not on the list. Okay. So, ayan. Yan ang ilalagay natin. So, ilalagay natin yung concern natin dito. Halimbawa, uh, ilalagay mo lang dyan na uh, me i request to fully verified my gcash account using my student id okay Do to okay because primary I delisted because primary on the list. Is primary ID on the list because I don't <laughs> barok I don't I don't have any primary ID on the list and the said list Hoping for your kind assistance. Thank you. Lagi din natin ng thank you. Para matuwa naman sa atin yung customer service. Ano? Thank you. Okay. So, ayan. And then, i-click natin tong box. 
I acknowledge to have. And then, ilalagay natin yung first name mo. Dapat yung first name mo dito at yung na ilalagay mo dito is same doon sa ip ipinasa nating ID. Same doon sa ID, yung middle name, yung last name, ayan. And then, GCAS registered number, ilagay natin. Death of birth, ayan, ilagay din. Barangay, yung address dapat same din doon sa ipapasa mong uh, ID. Zip code, mahahanap po yan kung anong lugar mo. So, hahanapin nyo lang sa Google yung zip code ng lugar nyo kung taga saan ka. Place of birth, ayan. Moon nationality, source of funds. Siyempre, pag student ka, uh, cash on hand. Okay, tapos ang nature, nature, <laughs> namabulala ko talaga. Nature's of work mo is student ka. Okay, so ang ID type mo is, uh, dahil wala nga dito, eto may mga choices dito. Mas marami dito ang choices sa help center. So kung barangay ID ang hawak mo, ayan, barangay certification, uh, must have sale, of the barangay signature barangay ID must have seal of the barangay signature of the barangay captain, captain or ID number ID picture of the applicant validity or date of issuance okay certification from the national council for the welfare of disabled persons company IDs must have the name of company name of the photo card holder ID number signature and then department of social welfare pwede rin. government office GSIS ayan integrated maritime in BI OFW OWA postal PRC so marami dito ang pagpipilian ayan may school ID ka so kung ikaw ay school ID ito yung pipiliin mo kaya lang yung school ID basahin natin parang hin uh, school ID School ID must have name and photo of card holder. Student number for college size 2019-2020 will be accepted for elementary and high school. Size 2019-2020 will not be accepted. Okay, so 2019-2020 hindi na po nila tatanggapin. Kailangan... sa elementary, ayun, for elementary and high school na sa 2019 and 2020, hindi nila tatanggapin as of now okay, so yun guys ang ito dapat natin bigyan ng pansin na kapag student ID yung ginamit nyo, hindi na pwede dito yung uh, 2019 to 2020 kapag ikaw ay elementary and high school, so ang tatanggapin lang ng sa 2019 and 2020 is yung college uh, holder, so si Mansbok pwede, senior citizen pwede rin Okay, list of requirement, syempre kapag uh, Filipino ka minor, ayan, in front and back, ayan, front and back, ayan, iti-check mo selfie, attach your actual self photo, three spacement signature, ayan, dapat may signature ka sa tatlong uh, white uh, band paper, yung malinis na papel, School registration form, ayan, school registration form, parents consent, ayan. So, gawa lang yung parents ng letter na katunayan na ina-allowed niya yung anak niya na mag-open ng or magpa-KYC ng GCAS account. Then, parents valid ID. So, isi-send mo rin yung valid ID din ng iyong parents. Okay, so, ayan lang guys. Hopefully, nakatulong po ito sa inyo. Then, i-click muna po yung submit. Siyempre, meron ditong CAPTCHA. Kapag nag-click ka ng submit yan, may lalabas na CAPTCHA dyan. I-enter mo muna. Then, ito, add file or draw file, sir. So, dito mo i-add file mo. Ayan. So, kunyari, ayan yung files mo. Ipapasok mo lang siya dyan. Pupunta ka doon sa picture or image na pinicturan mo. Yung mga requirements, yung ID. Ayan. 
So dito lahat yun isi-send mo sa help center kapag ikaw ay minor or wala yung mga IDs na hawak nyo doon sa mga IDs on the list na nakalagay sa primary doon sa normal na KYC on the list IDs nila. Okay guys, hopefully po na nakatulong itong ating uh, Uh, tutorial doon sa ating mga minor na sobrang nahihirapan pong mag-KYC ngayon sa uh, kanilang GCAS account at hindi rin makapag-open ng mga passbook sa uh, mga banko dahil kulang nga talaga sa mga IDs okay so thank you guys again this is not so funny at your service